Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, it has discussed how to build a HTTP client, HTTP server using LabEvent EVHTTP. As we know, HTTP due to the date has been transmitted over the network with text model, it has been considered as not secure. Many HTTP applications has been replaced with HTTPS. OpenSSL is one of the most used SSL TLS library for building HTTP application. The example of this video is update HTTP example to HTTPS using LabEvent, EVHTTP and OpenSSL libraries. Here on Linux, there are two C++ programmers from previous video, EVHTTP client.cpp and EVHTTP server.cpp. They are HTTP client and HTTP server. In this short video, we are going to update these two programmers from HTTP to HTTPS. First, we are going to test our HTTP client and HTTP server. We will use two Linux server to test this HTTP client and the server example. One is Yupton Linux IP address 10.0.0.190. Another one is the Debian Linux IP address 10.0.0.124. On top terminal, Yupton Linux we will compile HTTP server. On bottom terminal, Debian Linux, we will compile HTTP client. Now both client and the server has been compiled. This is our executable EVHTTP server and the EVHTTP client. The usage of a server, one argument, part number, one, two, three, four. Now we have started our HTTP server, part number, one, two, three, four, host 10.0.0.190. Client usage. One argument, URI. Here is the URI pattern format. First is schema, could be HTTP, HTTPS, user info, host, power number, path, or query argument. HTTP colon forward slash slash 10.0.0.90, power number 1234. HTTP server respond back with uh, HTML. Very simple. Return we test lab event HTTP server, and uh, we can also test uh, our HTTP server through web browser. Here is our HTTP server web page. We test the lab event HTTP server. Back to Ubuntu Linux. We create a C++ program EVHTTP HTTPS client.cpp We copy from HTTP client.cpp and then modify to HTTPS client colon R HTTP client.cpp We read from HTTP client.cpp First, add header file EVHTTP set using OpenSSL. It has to go through buffer event header file buffer event SSL dot H. Then open SSL, SSL dot H and open SSL ER dot H. 
Usage will not change. It take a while argument from command line, URI, the URI pattern, schema, colon, forward slash slash, user info, at host, colon, and the port number, pass, query, fragment. After validate the command line, parse URI from argument 1, get HTTP URI, get HTTP schema using function EVHTTP URI, get schema, get HTTP host using function EVHTTP URI, get host using function EVHTTP URI, get port to get the port number, then we print our request schema host and the power numbers. Next, we need to add some open SSL function. Add open SSL algorithm. Load open SSL error string. Create SSL context for client. So we create SSL context and the SSL object, my SSL. Create event base. If schema is HTTP, do something for HTTP request. If schema is HTTPS, then we do something for HTTPS. Else, we just print out schema not supported. After create the event base, we have to create a connection object and a request object. This is from preview HTTP client. So we cut in these two lines, we paste here. For HTTPS, we need a buffer event. First, we declare a variable, pointer, buffer event, BEV. Then we go back to the schema HTTPS to create a buffer event using OpenSSL function will be buffer event open SSL socket new. This function create a new SSL buffer event to send its date over a SSL on the socket. This function take five parameters. First parameter is the event base. Second parameter is the FD. Third parameter is the SSL object and the state of SSL connector and the buffer event options. First parameter is the event base. And uh, at this moment, there's no FD yet. Third parameter, SSL object, my SSL. And uh, for the client using OpenSSL, it has to be status connecting to start a handshake. And the option for buffer event SSL state, there will be buffer event SSL open, buffer event SSL connecting, buffer event SSL accepting. Connecting is for client initialize handshake and accepting is the server side to accept handshake. Buffer event option has the option close on free, option threading safe, option default callback. So we just set these two command used options.
If a buffer event pointer is none, then we just print out error message and exit. Next, create connection base buffer event object. The function is evhttp connection base buffer event new. This function create and return a connection object that can be used for making HTTP request. This function take uh, five parameters. First is the uh, event base. Second is uh, DNS base. Since we don't use DNS, we just uh, set it as now. Buffer event address and uh, power numbers. Connection equal. First parameter base. Second parameter DNS, third parameter buffer event BEV host the power number. Create a new request. Callback function pass parameter base. We can add a header, we can set a connection option like a timeout. And then we dispatch event base. Now we start callback function HTTPS request CB. Copy this line. Change the name to HTTPS request CB. Now we have a create function HTTPS request callback. If there's a different logic doing the HTTP request and the HTTPS request, we can add different logic in different functions. Here in our demo, just keep simple, we using the same. So we copy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 line, and then we just paste to our HTTPS request callback functions. Before exit, we have to shut down the SSL and uh, free the memory allocate for SSL object and the SSL context. Here, for HTTP, we need a connection base new to create a connection object and we use request new to get a request object. For the HTTPS, we have to use a buffer event open SSL socket new to create a buffer event. And use EVHTTP connection base buffer event new to create a connection object. And then using the EVHTTP request new function create request object. Now we finish update our HTTPS client. We can save our program. Now we create another C++ program. EVHTTP HTTPS server.cpp We copy from HTTP server.cpp and update it to HTTPS server. R read from HTTP server.cpp We need to add header file. As we said, EVHTTP for using OpenSSL, it have to go through buffer event. Then OpenSSL header file. For HTTPS server, it has to add two arguments from command line. Update this to four. Two arguments will be certificate and the private key. We get a power number from argument one address 0, .000. It means uh, accept uh, all request interface, and uh, we have to create an event base, and uh, EVHTTP new, create a new HTTP server. 
After we have to load some open SSL parameter. Add open SSL algorithm. Load error string. Create a new SSL context for server. If uh, CTX equal num pointer, then we just print out error message. Could not create SSL context. Next, there will be set context using certificate. Of Declare variable return code. Return code equal. First parameter, CTX. Second parameter, certificate file name, argument 2, file type. PM is a type of a certificate format. If return code less equal 0, we just print out error message, set SSL, use certificate file error. Next, set use private key. First parameter, CTX, private key from argument 3, file type, PM. For HTTP server, we use site general callback. For using open SSL, it need to go through buffer event. So we need a site buffer event callback. To set up a buffer event callback function is evhttp set bevcb. This function set a callback used to create a new buffer event for connections to the given EVHTTP object. This function takes uh, three parameters. First parameter is the HTTP server. Second parameter is the callback function. And the third parameter is the void pointer, which is the argument passed to these callback functions. We set up a buffer event callback. First parameter is uh, HTTP server. Second parameter is the callback function. Third parameter will be the argument or parameter passed to this callback function. In this uh, simple example, we just uh, pass SSL context CTX. Now we go create our new buffer event callback function. My buffer event CB first parameter is event base. In this buffer event callback, we create our buffer event socket to using OpenSSL. First, buffer event pointer, RET, SSL context, casting argument, print a message, callback function, invoke it. We use a buffer event open SSL socket new to create buffer event object with the pointer to the RET. First parameter is the base. Second parameter is the FD. At this time, we just use a minor one and SSL object. And uh, for server handshake, using the accepting. So the start it will be. Next is buffer event option. If uh, RET equal num pointer, we just print out the error message. 
and uh, return our pointer. Finish setup buffer event callback. We continue using the same EVHTTP set general callback to set our callback function. My request reply. Get EVHTTP binding socket with the HTTP server and the address, port number. Then we create a signal event, signal int, which is the control C to exit our server program and uh, add this uh, signal event to our event base. Then dispatch event base. Before we exit the program, we need to free the SSL contact object allocated memory and exit the program. Come to our request callback function, just to make a simple adjust to our page. This is the Hui test lab event HTTP to HTTPS server. So finish modify our program. We just save. Next, we need to adjust make file. We add new program. Copy this two line, paste here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Copy this ten line. Twenty-four to twenty-seven. S forward slash. Replace ev http http client to ev http https client. Twenty-nine to thirty-two. S forward slash ev http http server to ev http https server. Now we need to add a library, manual event open SSL library, manual crypto library, SSL library. So we save our make file. To test our example, we use two Linux server, Ubuntu Linux, IP address 10.0.0.190. And uh, Debian Linux IP address 10.0.0.124. We create a new program on Ubuntu Linux and we copy these two program to the Debian Linux. On Ubuntu Linux, we compile our HTTPS server program. On Debian Linux, we compile our HTTPS client. Now, programmer has been compiled on Ubuntu Linux. We have an executable HTTPS server. On the Debian Linux, we have an executable HTTPS client. To use an HTTPS server, we need a certificate and a private key. Here on Ubuntu Linux, Private key and the certificate and the etc Apache 2 third. This two file is uh, owner and the group of root. So in order our program able to read certificate and the private key, we are copy this two file to our local directory. So cp private key to current directory cp. Certificate to card directory. Change owner. Change group. Now private key and the certificate has copied to our local directory. Change the ownership and the group. The server usage will be part number certificate and the private key. Server part number 1234 certificate, my X59 certificate, and the my private key. Now our HTTPS server has started on the host 1.0.0.190 part number 
port number 1234. On our Debian Linux, client usage will be schema, host, and the port number. HTTPS forward slash slash 10.0. Port number 1234. You can see when we make a HTTP request to our HTTPS server, our server request reply is uh, HTML, which is uh, Hui Test Lab Event HTTP to HTTPS server. Also, we are able to use a web browser to test our HTTPS server. Now we are using web browser to test our HTTPS server https colon slash slash 190 part number 1234 you can see HTTPS server we test lab event HTTP to HTTPS server hello this is Hui thanks for watching my video which it's helpful and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback